Hi there, Marty the Surveillance Guy here. So today is the big day for you. You got your first Hike Vision camera and you're going to hook it up and you're going to find out what all this stuff is about and what it takes to do this. Well, first off, you need to understand that IP cameras are not the easiest thing in the world. It's just like it sounds. Internet protocol means you've got to become the network administrator. So we're going to show you how to hook up your camera the first time the easy way. All right, so you've got your NVR up and operational. And now we're going to set up your first camera. So we're going to camera setup, and we're going to look in here, and you're going to find your IP addresses. Okay, yours may differ from what I have. I have mine set to where they are uh, manually configured. I prefer mine to be manually configured. Some systems can use plug and play. I do not recommend plug and play because it can become a problem. But for those of you that are only hooking up the NVR and cameras and not hooking them up to your network or going really extreme like we do normally, then plug and play will be fine. So to do things manually, first thing I want to do is I want to find my open camera port. And right here is my open camera slide. So it just tells me that we have IP camera number 12 is empty. So the IP address for that, as you can see, is 13. So what we have to do is assign this camera right here to be 192.0.0.13 in order for it to connect into the network and to be seen on the NVR. So let's go back here and right down there is the empty slot we are going to fill up with this camera. Okay, now that you have your camera and you've got your power over ethernet set up, what you want to do is bench test everything first. So I would su just suggest before going out and sticking this thing up two or three or four stories up in the air that you bench test it and get everything ready to go. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to plug in the PoE and wait. See a little light comes on, infrared comes on. And now we're going to readjust it and make sure everything's set up and hook it all up and get it ready to go before we stick it up into position. That will make it easier later on. Okay, now the first thing that I'm going to do here, I, since I have the SADP tool, is we're going to pop that open, and it's going to show up all the cameras across my internet or across my network. It shows all my different devices. So, now, oh look, right there. There we have one that is inactive. That would be the one we're looking for, and there is the IP address. Now, you can go through and modify parameters with the... SADP tool by Hike Vision, but that's not what I do, and uh, that's just, I, I wouldn't recommend it. Let's put it that way. So see, you click on it, and it shows the device is not active. You have to add passwords and all that stuff. So let's go through and do it the, the way I normally do it. So we'll go ahead and close this out, pop open a good old-fashioned Internet Explorer, and that is the stock address. Now, the first thing that it's going to do, it's going to pop up this thing here that tells you put in a password now when you put in your password for God's sake make sure you put in the right password the first time and write down the damn password because you don't want to have to go back to hike vision and go I forgot my password so I suggest something simple and easy okay that's And there's my new password. It shows it comes up. They're always going to be weak or mid, depending on how elaborate you want to go. But since if you're behind a firewall, passwords really aren't too big of a deal. You don't have to worry about it. If you're behind, a fa if you're behind the fa firewall, if you're going to expose the camera to the Internet, then I would suggest using a good, strong password. But write it down. Okay, so now we tell it, okay, now we have my password saved, my admin password. So all I have to do now is go up here to configure and since I already know what the information over here is on the NVR let's go back to that we're gonna to go to camera setup and we know that the camera number that we're looking for is right here 192.00.13 that's where we're gonna be that's the number we need so all we need to know out of this is let's go to system configuration and we're going to look at our network to make sure what our subnet mask is. 255.255.00. Okay, everything's good. Looks good there. Okay, so now we're going to go back over here to our camera. And we're going to go to network. 
and we're gonna tell it what what are we gonna what are we gonna use for the IP address there? All right, we got IP version four, so that's 192.0.0. What one three was it thirteen? That's a thirteen there. Let's double triple check. Uh, blah blah blah. Go back here one more time. Set up cameras and look at that number thirteen is the empty slot. So thirteen is the empty slot. 255, 255, 255. I should say 255, 255, zero, zero is that my default gateway. Well, we really don't need one because we're not sending it to the internet. Oh, I like that. It's a new feature. They don't let you do that. Oh, but you can just delete it and call it good. So, okay. Uh... We do not want DHCP because we do not want to auto assign that IP address. Because if you auto assign the IP address, you're going to lose the camera in your network forever and ever. So I would suggest just going manual IP addresses. Okay, got our. You really don't need to have the preferred DNS server because it's not being exposed to the internet. So now we've got our IP address set up there. There's the IP address and our subnet mask. It's all ready to go. So we're going to tell it to save. And it says, do you want to reboot the unit? I'll tell it okay. So now that we're rebooting the unit, the IP address up here is no longer going to be valid. So you're going to have to chase it over to the new IP address in order to see it. Okay, now the thing has rebooted, and here is our picture of our, for our bench testing. That is, of course, the inside of the server room, which is boring as can be, but that's what we do when we bench test. We want to make sure everything is good to go before sticking it up on the roof. And now you've had the basics of setting up your first Hike Vision IP camera. It's really not that hard, and it's not that scary. Just remember, take your time, check your things three or four times. It doesn't hurt to check four or five times to make sure your IP addresses and your subnet mask and everything's cooked up correctly before telling it to reboot. And remember, write down your password because you don't want to have to go back to Hike Vision and say, I forgot my password. That's the most embarrassing thing and they don't like that. Neither would I. So anyways, there you go. Marty the Surveillance Guy, you guys have a good day out there.